Hi there, I'm John of John's Carnivorous Plants. This is my indoor nursery, and today we will be talking about what carnivorous plants need dormancy. Now, for ones that, you know, are very cut and dry, that, oh yeah, this one needs dormancy, this one doesn't, Venus flytraps, Saracinia, so North American pitcher plants, Darlingtonia, cobra lilies. And whenever we're talking about dormancy, we mean the period of time that the plant would be uh, regressing in its growth during winter, basically to be able to survive colder and uh, you know more inclement uh, climate. There are plants from Australia that go through what is called a summer dormancy. So whenever it heats up, they go dormant to prevent themselves from getting skizzled by the hot Australian weather. But that's a totally different ballpark and for only like extreme collectors will you ever see these plants uh, you know, as a problem or like you have to deal with that as an issue. Now there are temperate sundews and temperate pinguicula. So sundews like Drosera rotundifolia, Drosera intermedia, Drosera filiformis, these ones all require some level of dormancy. There are rare ones like Drosera linearis that are very rare in cultivation because of how intense of a dormancy period they require. Like you literally have to toss those things in the freezer for a few months because they are adapted to that extreme cold. Now the temperate pinguicula tend to be a lot more difficult to keep because most growers who are keeping pinguicula and like growing them mostly deal with the Mexican or like uh, what they are called warm temperate species that are like down in Florida and Alabama and such, those ones don't require the cold, but still require a change in their photo period in order for good growth. And it also helps trigger their flowering. But the more Northern species tend to be the ones that are gonna require a much more uh, dramatic change in temperature to be really happy and succeed. So if you're up here, like I'm right up on the Northern border here in Ohio, if you are growing uh, outdoors here, I'd highly recommend a Saracinia pupera. They're one of the most hardy uh, pl uh, plants just in general to grow outdoors here in the United States. As long as you're keeping them wet in most areas around the country, they will do very well in full sun. Now, there's just not much else to really go on except for the fact that, you know, more about dormancy care, which I've touched on in other videos which is just very simply like you can put them in a bag, you can leave them outside, you can cover them, et cetera. It depends on where you're at in the world or like in the US of what you need to do to actually care for your plants through dormancy. And it's a lot more of a nuanced topic that I can't really address in just a single video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I hope to catch you on the next one.